so we're going to talk a little bit about calibrating the new blenders that we have, our Max Blend 2s by Max Tech. And so the first method I'm going to show us is calibrating to room air using the um, flow tubing method. And so, of course, our system is already on because it should always be on. And then we would push our unlock, and I always just out of habit sort of um, silence. There we go. Okay, and so, importantly, we want to disconnect our oxygen because we're just doing room air. And so we did not get that differential alarm that sometimes happens because we were already not providing any oxygen. And so what we want to do now is push cow. And this can take about five seconds, but it eventually should read about 20.9. Perfect. And that's how we know that we're calibrated to room air. What we would do is turn our knob all the way up, and we'll give that some time to go all the way up to 100%. If you do this part first, you will likely not have that oxygen screeching, um, because what that is is the pressure differential alarm. Um, so if we have blended oxygen and we remove one of those, then we're very likely to get that screech but if it's at 21% or 100%, then we're less likely to get that screech. So I'll give this a couple more seconds to get pretty close, but that might be because we're not totally calibrated to 100%. Okay, so here's what we'll do. Yep. Um, here's what we'll do is we disconnect the air. There we go. So unlock, then calibrate. And it should take about five seconds and remember we have unplugged our air and so we're calibrated what you will need is the 1422 multi adapter the 1423 adapter some oxygen tubing and an extra um, flow meter and so your setup will look like this, where you connect the oxygen tubing to your flow meter, and then you connect your 2-3 uh, to your 2-2. Two, two. So it looks like that. Okay, so then we hook up our flow meter into the wall so that it's providing 100% oxygen. You can have really any flow, but then we have our little system here. And so what you'll do is back here is that diverter, and you'll just remove that and place it into the system. And so you can see here that now that it's in that high oxygen environment, it's going to go up to 100%, but we did not actually interrupt the amount of oxygen that we were giving to our baby. And so then, um, it's a little hard for me to do right now because I only have one hand, but you would do that same calibration process where you push the unlock, you silence, and you calibrate. So in the same vein as what we just did, if our baby is on about 35%, but we don't want to interrupt care by disconnecting the oxygen or going to 21%, um, what we can do is just silence, or silence, unlock, pull this um, diverter out from this back area back here, and then calibrate. So now this is hanging out in just the room air environment. We don't have to create any um, artificial oxygen environments like we do when we go to 100%. But hopefully it'll pick up at about 20.9. If it doesn't calibrate where you want it to be the first time, it might just be, mean that like you weren't that close. Oh, we got an air. Okay, so let's try again. It might just mean that you were not that close to the oxygen um, percentage that you want to be at. So if you're like at 21% and you're wanting to calibrate to 100, it might fail the first time calibration. There. To change the alarm limits, there's a quick alarm set that will give it to you three below and three above where you're currently at. So you would click unlock and then this thing that looks like a lampshade. 
and then you can just lock that again and now you're about where you would be if you're at 21%. So we probably wouldn't have any oxygen at 18, but if we were to go over 24%, then it would continue to alarm. Once you have calibrated to 21 and to 100% on your Max Blender, you'll use one of these green tags. And so you'll put your initial and the date and time activated. And what I've been seeing is a lot of this, where people push it in. But is this activated? Is this going to work? No. You really have to push it in very hard. So it works by pushing it on a hard surface. And you see how that red line is beginning to form? That means it's activated. Thank you.